their day here at Bonaventure's beautiful Alea Spa, finding their inner chi, and then sitting down with life coach Dr. Jessica to talk about that and their inner demons. Bow down into yourself and honor yourself for showing up today and honor this beautiful practice that we call yoga. Namaste. 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 Thank you, Felice. It was great. Have great. a great day. You too. Thank you. Yoga kickstarts my morning, gives me a lot of great energy. Um, it really gives you that me time to really just focus on what your day is going to become. This morning, you were asked to focus on your balancing, focusing on things that are important without distractions. You were working on breathing, on your mindfulness, and all of those things are what we are supposed to work on every single day to be able to conquer the world. And for you ladies, some of the things that are really important are being able to form your habits in your workouts and of course with your eating. So what I wanted to be able to do today is I really wanted to get an idea of how you're using that inner dialogue and some of those positive things that you're experiencing in your everyday life. When I find my mind racing even in yoga, I know that it's okay to block everything else out. That helps me do that in real life. Well, Dr. Jessica, the challenge for me is time. I'm and we all talked about having time during the day. I have so many things going on. That's been a challenge, fitting it all in and listening to the good person on the side saying, you can do this, you can fit all this in. And that's what I struggle with. We are all given the same 24 hours. There's nothing, there, it, it exists. So what do we do? We've got to take control of the things that we can. I actually had a mini meltdown breakthrough after one of our sessions with Janie. I know I'm crying right now, but it's not in sadness. I just finished Jamie Eason's emergency workout plan. I just got so emotional because I'm finally doing it. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm finally doing something for me. And it's never felt better. Thoughts are, are related to everything. That you, you, Your feelings can't just pop in without having a thought that triggers that. So even more so to go even deeper is being able to kind of prepare and have a preventative approach. I think for me the struggle in the beginning is really looking at the amount of weight that one has to lose and you can definitely get caught up in the number um, and get stuck on that. It's a struggle for me when I'm working out to not equate that while I'm working out and it's a daily thing for me. Like I'm literally have to like, no, <laughs> like I'm shutting it down in my head and just like, this is for me, I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing this for anybody else to prove it to anybody else. I commend all of you in being able to really transform the way you do things. You're being asked to completely go outside your comfort zone, to do things at different times and in different ways than you were ever asked. And all of that is difficult, but not impossible. I am just so thankful that I got to meet with you guys in the morning because now you get to take all of this from what you've got from here, what you got from your yoga, and you get to start off your day on the right foot like a clean slate and have the most incredible day. Thank, Thank you so much. The inner dialogue that they're supposed to be practicing with is really um, getting challenged by this word elimination and what if, what if. I set my, my mind up to, you know, hope for the best but expect the worst. Namaste and great session ladies. Want to see more of Dr. Jessica's discussion with the girls? Head over to the website 